ain't watching D Flow. I try to see myself on D Flow. Well, you on there right now. Yeah. She grew up in as emotion. And any strong emotion that's invoked is what I write about. A modern day poets underground. 2003, I actually met Emotion, and her studio was like the stomping ground for mm -hmm. any up and coming local artists, especially in the Baltimore area. Right. Yeah. You studios and D Flow TV hold me down since I was 10 years old, man. Participate in anything with that DF on it. Standing right here with Beanie Siegel. DJ Khaled in this fucking Flow studio. The movie. Yo, this is Crucial of Crucial Keys, and you're watching Deep Flow TV. What's good? It's your boy Juve the Great doing it real big right here on Deep Flow TV. Just me the Ghost Double R D Block right here on Deep Flow TV. Shout out to Deep Flow TV. I'm your boy Chopper Young City. Deep Flow TV. Dude, in the building, yeah. You're checking out Deep Flow TV, all right? Keep it locked. Day 26, crack the building. We got Ryan going off right here next. This house, sunscreen, and Afrosheen will be in the cabinet. Let's set it here with Flair from the wire. If it ain't Deep Flow, it ain't nothing. Deep Flow TV is live. Deep Flow TV, you know how I get it in. Shout out to Deep Flow Studios, man. It's your Holiday, of course, right now. You're checking out Deep Flow TV. There's a lot of passion and a lot of connections. Y'all touch the hood with that. It's deep to be out there like that. That's why we call it Deep Flow. Deep Flow TV. You already know. Oh. They don't the building. We here all day. Yes, sir. Yeah, chilling with Deep Flow TV. This is the boy Skinny Shell chilling with my homies. I'm sitting here with Mano, and I'm hanging out with Deep Flow TV. Shout out to Deep Flow TV. Deep Flow. Shout out to Deep Flow TV. 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 Sitting in the homes all day yeah. We do something else greater Was yeah. that my boyfriend calling? I just call him back later Y'all watching Deep Flow TV Keep it locked Yo, some cheek rock a busy beat The backbone of the microphone Hip Hop's first solo MC You now watching Deep Flow TV So check it out www.deepflowtv.com That's how we do Keep it got it Deep Flow Studio Illuminati, all through your body. The blows like a 12 gauge shot it. Uh, Illuminati, all through your body. The blows like a 12 gauge shot it. Uh, Illuminati, all through your body. The blows like a 12 gauge shot it. Uh, Illuminati, all through your body. The blows like a 12 gauge shot it. What's up, world? It's Emotion. It's another episode of Deep Flow TV. And tonight, we're down here at Tyree Colleone's coming home party. You know there's been quite a few, but we're at the most recent one. And we're down here with Caluminati doing his thing again tonight. And his wife, Brooke, who's always a great, you know, support system and everything. What's going on, Clue? Ain't too much having fun out here. Welcome to Tyree home, you know what I mean? We're getting there having fun. Five seasons, Baltimore. So we've never really talked to you, Brooke, about what's it like to have a man in the industry, long hours, late nights at the studios and the shows. I know that must be tough. It's tough, but we work it out together. You know, we manage with the kids and stuff and at home, and um, he does what he has to do, and I support him, so it works out. That's what's up, and congratulations on the new baby. Thank you. So, Glue, you put out a couple projects. Can you tell us about those projects? Um, yeah, put out a couple projects just to get my name out here, Baltimore, uh, running around. Uh, big shout out to Emerson Village, G Rock, you know, Knockville ENT, Jermaine Holt, Lil Oakey, Bad Feet, Blue Black, you know what I mean? So I'm out here just telling stories, enjoying life, you know, loving it. Yo, we going up, down, down, and round, and round, and round. 
seen Tyree let us know like I'm sure most people are familiar for, with him but the people that aren't what can you say about Tyree Tyree is a, a person uh, to be honest with you here hard worker um, he just uh, got released home he having a welcome home party but the guy his work ethic you know what I mean if you don't know about Tyree or haven't met him or you judge him or whatever just check him out because the guy do he got but work habit. That's why I'm here in support of him. So yeah, Tyree Colion, what's up? It's been, a, it's been a long time since you've been on here, Deep Flow like TV. Vu, Deep Flow TV. Um, I'm ashamed to say that I just came home again. Uh, Ain't that a <laughs> but it has again? Mind. You see where I'm at, Deep Flow TV. Only is a better feeling this time. I got my man Clue. You already know. I mean, like I told y'all, some things destined, but I want y'all, I don't want y'all to get this twisted, right? This time, I didn't do shit. I was actually framed, literally. Illuminati is real, right? Bag of weed, I'm in here 15 months. A bag of weed that was found in the gutter. Placed on me, right? Five postponements. Five postponements for one bag of weed, you dig? So don't think, always getting locked up. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. So it's about me being home, Machiavelli 2. I love everybody for coming out. Get a look at this crowd. That's not even what's in there. You can barely move in there right now. Can I you one, feel me? You feel all, me? All one second, soldier. No, my great, man Lano great. gonna kill it. Oh, Clue gonna kill it. I mean, what more can I say? Prano gonna kill it. It's not about me. When I say it's not about me, it's about the city. That's what I mean. A lot of people say, yo, you should have just gave your party and performed yourself. You got enough fans. I don't have fans. I got people that support me because we be more. You feel me? That's why I booked all these acts. So don't question me about, yo, why you ain't just perform yourself, let people dance and party. That's not what I want. All right? The Flow TV, Hustle Hall Boulevard, be more. Let's go. <laughs> But you got to give a shout out to my nigga Verb right here. So that, that's young Jeff right there. We got Verb. What's up, Verb? I haven't seen you in forever. But well, th this was the freestyle king. Let's get a little closer. The freestyle king right here. Where you been at? Chilling, chilling. You know, working, taking care of the kids. About to get it in for y'all tonight. Y'all know what I'm about to do, yo. Oh, you're performing tonight. Some bars. You already know what it is. And I ain't coming with no show CD. I need 
Keep switching the beats and keep getting it in all day. Freestyle King, y'all know what it is. You've seen that before. Now, where can people check you out online, pick up your material, all that? Well, you can go on that piff. I got the mixtape out, Beast Mode. Put Verb in, Beast Mode. Listen to that. Two weeks, killed it. Good. We're going to check that out, Verb. It's good seeing you tonight. Can't wait to see you do your thing. It has been a minute, definitely. Deep flow, baby. Y'all know what it is. So we still got a lot of people in this crowd back here. What you got to say about Clue and Tyree? <laughs> you already know. Well, I already know, but the people out there might not know. That's my brother right there, Clue. Clue Minotti, that's my brother. So he already laid down. He laid down a hundred grand. <laughs> You better not do nothing no more. I'm not going to do nothing no more. Listen, let me explain to y'all what happened, right? I was born addicted with no hope. Mother so cold. When her water broke, she was on dope. My father was selling coke. Stone criminal. I thought he was boxing the way he was on the ropes. Monkey was on his back. Got locked up. I was on the same track before all this time up. From North Carolina. Couldn't get crime up. Left me in Baltimore alone with my mama. Had a heart of gold. Touched by our uncle at four. Grandma didn't know. Or chose to ignore. Feeling low was the floor. Exploring with raw. Kept sitting up more till her arms got Oh, things that I felt, things that I saw, the rain in my heart, the pain in my bars, hated the trains in the veins, leaving stars, getting spaced every day, she was high as the stars, saw mommy shooting by the time I could talk, saw dead people by the time I could walk, by the time I could draw, set some bodies out and chalk, so if I'm f how the f it's my fault, I ain't never had shit. I ain't but a bastard. At 11, I was on the steps with a package. 13, I was with the big boys, the waxers. Couldn't take demons in lanes with the ratchet. Barely in my teens, getting fitted for a casket. But y'all, gangster, y'all got me laughing. <laughs> Deep flow, baby. Let's go. Yeah, you said, look at this crowd. Look at this crowd. Look at this crowd. See, everybody's. And this is why, this is why he's just such a major force. Hey, you ladies, grab ladies. It's a second song for a lady, man. She dance with me. Cause she's super calibrated, that's me out of dope. She said, Mama, step out that outfit. She's super calibrated, that's me out of dope. She said, Mama, step out that outfit. No, she's super calibrated, that's me out of dope. She said, Mama, step out that outfit. She's super calibrated, that's me out of dope. She said, Mama, step out that outfit. Another world, he gave his own. If he got a son, and these women with some booze and them big buns. My booze with the turkey, feeling pumped again. The 
me, Spooky and Blue Jack, man, they be calling me. Cross the toes, put their nose in their fancy stuff. Let me be in their skeet, I call you bluff. She put out of friends, at least they catch me out of notions. She walk like an ass stick, man, I'm getting notions. Kill them a dog, or crush them man, climb that mountain. I'm talking crouching and bouncing and pounding. One lady with a patch, old birdie like style. But S P I look do just see I like a smile. Who takes the day? Chasing me on one foot. Multiple maneuvers, I am on the trip. Just lost when they style is getting tossed. Gotta be some dinner, Rick Ross, how to the ball. Cause she's super calibrated, it's the S P I look do just see. Mama must step out that outfit. So she's super calibrated, it's the S P I look do just see. Mama must step out that outfit. So she's super calibrated, it's the S P I look do Shout out to D-Flow, man. It's your man, Lano. I'm in the building tonight, man. Represent for my Tyreek Coleon. Yeah, so, Lano, we know you're doing big things. Let the people out there know all the things you're into right now. Absolutely, huh? Um, nah, I'm money. rocking the he show. Um, <laughs> I'm doing shows um, every Monday at uh, Dream Chasing Mondays. Each and every Monday, you can come down there. Where's that at? Uh, right, that's 3209 Bel Air Road. Yep. Got the squad in the building tonight. Wooski. Um, got the hey, got the legend. What, what's up, Reed, man? Got the legendary Tim Trees right there. You know so. Wooski kid. Tim Trees right there. Um, we we can come to have a good night. You know. We in here. It's my young boy right here, man. It's the future, man. You already know what it is, man. It's the kid Wooski live and direct, man. Deep flow. You mean bomb first nation? My time is now, you hear me? 2014 and forever, Bomb First Nation. So we got a lot of hot acts here tonight performing. Yeah. Clue and woo, you know that? Bomb First right there, you know what I'm saying? Let's do this. All right, well, all right we're going to go party. We're going to watch him hit the stage, see what's going on tonight. You heard Tyree do his thing. Now you know why he's so serious. He's got that hunger in his voice. His lyrics really tell his story. So no reason to question why Tyree has so many fans, or as he calls it, supporters. But we all know he's got a lot of fans and supporters. So keep it locked right here at Deep Flow TV. <laughs> Rolling, 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 rolling
tonight first time host of deep flow tv we got angel in the building about to take the mic over here you go angel do your thing so i got on stage the first time it was fun i was enjoying that and we're introducing mix soprano gme trackazooie a lot of people don't know you know what i mean this was a beautiful night welcome home tyree we got deep flow in here we got my beautiful wife sitting right here. We got Angela sitting right here. But this man right here, this is a person from Emerson Village, you know what I mean? That know me since the A High, whatever. You know what I mean? Doing this thing, much mad love. That's how we do it, you know what I mean? And if you don't know, everybody should need to get down with Nick, you know what I mean? Check him out, man. Emerson Village all day. What it is, y'all. This is Nick Soprano, GME Track Azoids. It's been a long time coming. As far as my man Cluminati right here, we grew up in Emerson Village with Red's Credit Kids. I ain't even know this man was an artist, you feel me? But we was out there doing a whole lot of grimy stuff, man. And I'm just glad to see this brother change his life around. Got married, got his beautiful wife right here. He working, yeah. You know I mean, got a legitimate job doing the music. This made a whole complete 360. Cause if you don't know anything about Emerson Village, it's real crazy around there. You know, from the 90s and then on up till now, got kids popping Molly, smoking weed, just lost with no direction. So as far as us being elder statesmen from Emerson Village. We all about positivity, you feel me? Making good music, taking care of our family. So it's good to see this brother right here to my right, you feel me? And as far as emotion, we go way back. Before she uh, moved Deep Flow Studios over there on Patapsco, I met out there in Pasadena when I made my first official Solo mix CD back in 2004, and here we are in 2014, 10 years later. 
long time. We watch each other grow. So it's a blessing to, to be in the five seasons with my man Tyree Coley on, just touching down at this beautiful event. He brought the whole city out, east, west, north, south, BGF, DMI, J, everybody, all underneath one roof. So it's just a blessing to be here. All right, well, just to clarify, Pasadena was Glen Burnie, but it's all good. We had a great time here tonight. Tyree, congratulations on getting out. Everybody here had a great time, and Clue, of course, as always, did his thing on the stage. Now y'all have met Angel. Remember that face? And we'll see you next time right here on Deep Flow TV. <laughs> What's up, world? It's Emotion. You are listening to DeepFlowRadio.com and on the webcam. You are watching us on Deep Flow Radio. We have a very special guest here today because I have seen this man grow for many years and he's always been on his grind, always been responsible, respectful. He's just one of them great men who happens to be an excellent artist. It's Nephew at S4GP in the building. What's good with y'all, man? Yeah, it's your boy you Nephew, man. In. Make sure y'all check out the website, www.beatmorenephew.com. Yes, definitely. So he's very successful. We're going to hear about all that, and he has a new project out. What's the name of the project? I'll be getting another new chapter. All right, and you also have a uh, clothing line that you really like. What oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boss Life. Boss Life, what's up, man? I promote y'all. I support y'all to the fullest, man. And in the Cut Barbershop, shout out to Tay Tay and my homeboy Tuck. What's good? Yes, what's up? All right, now we have a special guy who wants to ask a question. This is from the Rediscovering Me Clubhouse. It's Dr. J. Dr. What's up, J. Man? What's going on? Sixteen year old right here, ready to do it big. What, what do you want to know from nephew? So, how did you get started in your career? Oh man, I'm glad you asked that. First of all, this is the birthplace of me right here. D Flow Studios is the birthplace. Woo! Of me. Yeah. Like they, they helped me write my bars when I, you know, with a 16, the 16 bars was. <laughs> That's what we're working on the program right now. <laughs> with 16 bars well. But now, nah, um, what really got me started was like everyday, everyday life and situations going on around me. And you know, I wanted to be a voice and a mouthpiece. Okay. Yeah. That's great, that's great. So we can get the next uh, interview in. Thank you, Dr. J. We appreciate I'm ready, it. I'm ready, man. 16 years old, doing it big. Stay on your grind, man. Yeah. And uh, let them know the social networks while we're switching over. Oh, uh, man, the social network. You can ho oh, you can always highlight me on YouTube at Be More Nephew 86. You can highlight me at uh, Be More Nephew 86 on Instagram. Everything else is Be More Nephew. That's, that's uh, Facebook, that's Twitter, that's uh, that Piff. Uh, all Baltimore, shout out to All Baltimore Hip Hop who uh, keep me up on their website playing me favor. Nice. All right, we have another question by a talented young female from the Rediscover Me Clubhouse program. Introduce how you yourself. Doing today? BJ. All right, so nephew said, how you doing today? How you doing today? <laughs> I'm good. All right, well, what, do you, what did you want to know about nephew? Who and what inspired you to be a rapper? Who and what inspired me? Who inspired me have to be, uh, I know everybody said this, but uh, Tupac. That's Tupac. what I said. We just like did an interview earlier. That's what I said. Tupac definitely inspired me. I remember riding with my mother and then that tape that came on. The first song I heard was, uh, uh, I think it was Hellraiser. Mm. Sitting on the back of the bus. Some was a fool through high school, kicking the dust. Now I'm labeled as a troublemaker. Who can you blame? Smoking weed up to take away the pain. So I'm hopeless. Yeah, <laughs> he, he's even got a little Tupac tone in his voice too. Yeah, I like that. So you good with that answer? Good with that. Yep. All right, that's what's <laughs> up. All right, we're gonna get next up and tell us uh, where they can download the project. Oh, you definitely can download the uh, project, beginning of a new chapter on that Piff. You can check it out on SoundCloud. Um, you can check it out on my Instagram or my Facebook. I stay posting everything faithfully. 
you know, I stay promoting myself. Always got to stay on my grind. Now we have another special guest in the building from the Rediscover Me Clubhouse. Introduce yourself. Yeah, she was harassing me earlier, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah? She definitely was harassing me earlier. How you doing today? I'm good. <laughs> I'm Tanae. And I want to know, how was it growing up when you were younger? Oh, man. Like, far as when you say growing up, like, what you mean? Growing up from, like, age 5 to 18. Age 5 to 18. Mm -hmm. Um, I wasn't for me, let me see. Uh, much different, because we didn't have Instagram. All we had <laughs> oh, was, yeah. I think MySpace was ready to start popping off yeah. there. <laughs> that didn't start till we were like, and really then, oh, oh, and another so. thing, everybody ain't, when a fight break out, everybody ain't yell out World Star. <laughs> 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 that's, that's, that's the big difference right there. Yes. <laughs> you, know, you fought, you fought. We had uh, World Star and Facebook to uh, talk about it on to where, you know, people got caught. But anyway, right? uh, <laughs> beginning of the new chat there stores. <laughs> I just want to say back then it was much more grassroots. We had to put a lot more work in to get known. Whereas oh, now yeah, yeah, yeah. you can post something on YouTube, pay a price, and next thing you know, 10,000 people know who you are. So you guys have it a lot oh, yeah, easier. Yeah, yeah. Shout, out to, <laughs> shout out to everybody that, was, that still is and that was out there really, really, really grinding. Yes. To stay uh, concurrent and stay relevant. Because consistency, that's that's what matters to me right now. Absolutely. So I, I was just wondering real quick, who Baltimore artists, who have you seen, like, really grow in the game that they've always been on their grind? Uh, that that always been on their grind? Yeah, like what you just said. Oh, man. I, I, I always, oh, yeah. I always got to salute who I always been looking up to, and that's Scar Akbar. Oh, like, yeah. That, that man grind is amazing. Yes, he's a legend right uh, there. Um, Scar Akbar, Landlord. Um, Tyree Coley on. Oh yeah, um, he's back out. Uh, Lano. Mm -hmm. I'm loving what Lano doing with his young boys he got for some reality. Shout outs to them because they grinding. I mean, they grinding. Shout out to uh, the boy Scooter. All right, well look, we're going to get into the first song and then Freak's going to come over here. You know, Freak's got a little, he's got some questions and comments he has because he knew Nephew way back in the way day when, when he actually <laughs> went by Elmo. I don't know if we're <laughs> supposed to say that. But yeah, so we're going to get into the first track from Nephew off his new project, the beginning of a new chapter. Alrighty. It's called You Ain't Gotta. You Ain't Gotta Like Let's Go. Mm. You ain't gotta like me, stay up on my grind though You ain't gotta like me, one day at a time though You ain't gotta like me, always on my job though You ain't gotta like me, been about a bank bro You ain't gotta like me, always on my grind though You ain't gotta like me, one day at a time though You hear that? Yeah, it's your boy Freak We got my band nephew up in the building Already, already Hey man, I ain't trying to be a <laughs> Who, whose nephew are uh, you? Yo, yo whose black nephew, baby is this? Yo, in here? Man, brown skin, brown skin, man, uh, brown skin. <laughs> now, nephew was a, a, a name given to me, a name given to me by uh, family, family and friends. Okay, it's like uh, it's like everybody, everybody got that nephew that just. Like, hey yo, I ain't still lying to you. I love, I love somebody <laughs> call me nephew. Hey nephew, nephew. <laughs> <laughs> a little junk, dope baby. Nephew, come hey, here, nephew. Hey, nephew. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> got to bring my mother's dog cup. Nephew, come here. What? <laughs> oh, trick. Oh, man. You ain't got to like, you ain't got to, you ain't got to. You ain't got to like, like you, you ain't got to rock. What's up? What's up with that track? Let me know. Uh, the song, You Ain't Got to Like Me. Um, shout out to Big Tone. He produced the track. Um, the song, You Ain't Got to Like Me was, I don't know, I was, uh, I was feeling a certain way. Like anybody else, if you feel a certain type of way, you listen to a song that take you to that, to that. You know, to that. What song is that for you? Uh, the song that was the beat. Actually, it was the beat, the beat? when it when the beat oh, got yeah? sent to me. I was just vibing. So like, dang. I know how you feel. You ain't gotta like me. I song. got a beat. I'm <laughs> sitting on every time I hear it. I'm like, yo, I'm right. Make this song. <laughs> <laughs> that's how. That's that. That's how that song came about. For real, just uh, just me vibing to the beat, and I just came up with the hook. Like, shout out to Nova Kane. She um helped me out with the hook. Did the hook with me. Right. Um, yeah, she a dope, uh, she another dope MC. She up in New York right now doing that thing. Shout out to you, I heard you got a, uh, selected to the Summer Jam joint. I know you gonna kill it. Yeah. Where, where you do your first show at? Shout out to my man Glove. He the one who got me started for real. He had heard one of my songs on MySpace. I had did that fill in the air beat to that Bigly Sequel joint. Okay. And, um, he was doing promotions down, um, Club Belvedere. Downtown? Yeah, downtown. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I had did a, uh, show down there for him. 
And like my first show, I rocked the house. I was nervous as I don't know yeah. what, but I, I definitely rocked the house. And, he told, and a lot of people told me like, yo, you should take that seriously. Right. And I kept telling people like, that's my first time performing. That's my first song I ever <laughs> made, ever did. So he was like, take it seriously. And I just started taking heed and just watching and studying people that was doing better than me. Not to, you know, hate on them, but to mimic them and, you know, oh yeah, pay attention to where he messed up at, so I don't. I only fight the biggest guys. Yeah, you picking, picking on little guys. I ain't man. picking on little guy to bait him up. Give bro. me the dude that run the block. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now my first show was actually at Thunderdome. It's a club mate. Well, it was club, club mate. mate. So now it's a appliance store and a, a Afghan <laughs> kebab. <laughs> I still say club mate. Yo, I'm gonna say, did they open it back up yet? Yo, so many celebrities got robbed over there. <laughs> I ain't gonna say no names, <laughs> little Wayne. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Thunderdome was it. It broke my heart when they closed that down. Right. So, um, yeah. Uh, what's this next song we got? Gorgeous enough. Oh man! Shout out. Uh, it's called Gorgeous Enough. Shout out to my man Gorgeous Dro. He um, he definitely doing this thing um, from over east, from down the, down the way in the hood too. Over east? Yeah, yeah. Up the hill or down the hill? Down the hill. Stench of Somerset. Miami and Carolina. Hey, down the hill. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey I, I just had to cut in real quick because I heard y'all talking about Club Mate. It is actually still in existence. They oh. lost their liquor license, but uh, uh, shout out to uh, Young One. What? He's, he's running like it now. So that, that's what's going on right now with me. They showing no. off. No, they, not, they lost for a while, but now yeah. they're back. Just let me know. They showing well, off. What are they going to do with the appliance store? How are people going to be in the club? Lining up for the club, like, oh, I'm buying this couch. Man, that's been there for like 10 years. Hey, yo, they still do about? shows there, though. Uh, they, they've done a couple they've already. Couple. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a highlight club mate. I got to get out here and do a couple shows. Yeah, I, shows, I need man. a highlight club mate. All right, well, I got his info. <laughs> what's up? Young One, shout out. Young One, what's up, man? Young One. Wow. Shout out to oh, Thunderdome. Oh, shout out to Lost Boys. Lost Boys, what's up, man? The yeah. twins, man. Latrol, what's up? 300. They already know, man. Gorgeous enough. So, what's up with Gorgeous enough? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Motion. Will you say, right, say something? Yeah, but I forget. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Uh, yeah. What happened? What, uh, what's up with Gorgeous Enough? Like, uh, what's this track about? Oh uh, man, Gorge, Gorgeous. <laughs> his name Gorgeous Dro. You feel me? Um, this this cat is magnificent. Like, I love I love the way he freestyle. Right. He can give you, man. He can give you a whole. He can give you a whole album just freestyling. Yeah. And then you know he, his grind is incredible too. So I, you know, I hooked up with him. He was on his grind. I was on my grind. We came together with a with a track called Gorgeous Enough. Okay, gorgeous enough. We right get into this joint on Deep Flow Radio. Um, F G, what up? Yeah, it's gonna be on there. So give us a thumbs up, cause you know it's right be blazing. Let's begin another new chat, man. Gorgeous <laughs> enough. Keep it locked on Deep Flow Radio. Shit, shit, shit. When it comes to the lean, they know we poured the best. And when they add you on the scene, they say gorgeous enough. We got the hammers in our lap. Yeah, you boys, you get stretched. And when the flutes call for smack, they get their orders compressed. That was gorgeous enough, featuring gorgeous Dro. It's on. Uh, it's on this. Um, this mixtape right here. What's beginning. It beginning of a new chapter. Beginning of a new chapter. What chapter is this? What, what might we call it? Uh, man, this is like chapter. This is like chapter eight for real. <laughs> <laughs> chapter eight. I just say beginning of a new chapter because it's like, you know, it's always that that moment in your life where, you know, you got a life. Something changed your life. Uh -huh. For the, you know, for the better. Right. So. Hey, I ain't trying to put you on no soft shit or nothing like that. But what? pursuit of happiness. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Running was my favorite chat for this nigga. <laughs> yo, Will Smith, shout out to Will Smith, yo, because that man <laughs> ran in that movie, yo. He was <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. So, um, what's up? What, what do you got? What do you got going on? What is, what is, what is the future looking like for you? Or, um, you know, sh short term, like what do you, what's gonna happen pretty soon? Um, what's gonna happen pretty soon is I'm gonna be up and running. You know my own my own studio one stop shop, but it's you know it's not just to run it and to help you know all my homeboys rap or whatever. Right. I linked up with like um, my homegirl Mikey with the Boys and Girls Club. So okay. shout out to all the Boys and Girls Club. You know, so it's help like it's like a development center what I want to build okay. to help uh, any other rappers or any other kids coming up trying to really focus on the music and you know okay. how to perfect their game. An so, academy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We don't got that's anything. What, that's what Mo. That's what Mo did with me. Yeah, <laughs> right. We don't got any official. What I do? What I do? Deep Flow Academy. Deep Flow Academy. Oh yeah. We're raising these. Young, well, well, 
Hey, I was a part of it too. Hey, mm -hmm. I don't know too many other producers that can run a roll and mix and board, right? But I can, right? <laughs> Big Floor right. Academy. You're taking it back. <laughs> But yeah, I took it back to around the corner. They don't want me to go in that little box we was Ooh, in. No. That, that studio was like <laughs> the size of this room was yeah. like three rooms. They don't around the corner. Yo, smoked no, up. Over street. No what? air conditioning. Yo, what? No heat. Wow, we stepped it up quite a bit. Yeah, I definitely did. Man. <laughs> I like that studio. That was my studio. That was my joint, though. I ain't gonna lie, but when I was having I don't know what when they said if you say they <laughs> don't miss it. I don't miss it one bit. Not one bit. Hey, yo, one time we was at, we was at the other studio. And the lights, all lights was off, yo. Oh, yeah. The building in Brooklyn, the they, in Brooklyn went off. The whole grid was shut down. The, oh, yeah, the alarm know. on the building was across the street was going off, and the lady walked past, a fiend walked past. She said, just another day in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, I remember the, uh, a studio when we, when you walk straight back, it was the studio in the back. But you, if you just keep walking, you will never tell it was a studio in the front of that one, too. Like a, a booth in front oh, of that Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah. say, yo, what in the world? <laughs> Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta be incognito sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Shout outs to Mo. It's a big come up, man. Yeah. Well, you too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> we started with two sides. Oh, yeah. Boss and with uh, VSR, S4GP. Shout out to MT Everybody. and them. MTVSR. You know what it is, man. Virginia Style yeah, Records. They know I still MT? vibe with them. Yes, sir. What's up? Speaking oh, of Stanley, right there. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of styles, the next track is called Styling. Oh, Styling. Look at that. Look at that. And, uh, Styling. Yeah, it's one of my you're, favorites, man. You're pretty oh. fresh up in here. I got my Michael <laughs> Jackson shirt on. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's that stand for? Yeah, F1. What's up? It was a t-shirt. Oh, oh, I got, I got my S4 GP shirt. up Just here. Do it. For yeah. those of y'all watching the webcam, that's the S4 GP. I know. I know. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I said it was a Nike shirt. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, so styling, what was you saying, Motion? I'm sorry. We I was just saying, I got the S4 GP up here for the people on the webcam. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the new logo. Yeah, I was going to actually out. wear it today. It's a little big, yeah. so I have to dry it first. That's the yeah. new logo. Shout out to Landlord. My yeah. man, Landlord, the one who did, uh, did the new logo for me. You put that You put that wife beard on, we want to see some cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to find a whole lot with me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me keep looking. Chill, yo. We're not in shit. We can get on channel. Pirate Radio. <laughs> this is Pirate Radio. <laughs> nah, man. But yeah, Styling, Styling. When did you make this? Um, Styling was a track I did um, on my way to the Yo Gotti show. Yo Gotti. In, in Cambridge, Maryland. So I was, uh, I was freestyling. Well, I ain't going to say freestyling because I wrote it down. But I was freestyling, then wrote it down. Okay. <laughs> that's right. way to write. That's, yeah. And then, mm -hmm. I heard, and then I heard the beat and was like, you know, maybe I should throw it on it. Then, you know, I got a crazy buzz from it. From right. off the mixtape. Beginning of a new chapter. Yeah, you know. download it where? Download it on that piff. Check me, oh yeah, That's check me out on Twitter, man. I need some followers, man. Yeah, follow yeah. this man. Follow me at nephew. Be More Nephew, man. Be More, more nephew. nephew. Be you More Nephew. You ain't gonna get that wrong at all. Be More Nephew. Right. right. <laughs> Yeah. And, and, and on that pit, what exactly do they have to look up? Um, you can look up, you can type in the mixtape, or you can type in, you can type in nephew. You know, quite a few nephews going to pop That's up. That's what I was but, thinking. So should you write nephew? You can, you, can, you, you can type in, you can type in uh, that pith beginning of a new chapter. That's okay. what you can type in. Okay. Or you can type in that pith nephew 10. That should pop up. And follow him at Be More Nephew. And follow me on Twitter because I need some followers, man. I ain't even reached a thousand yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, it'll get there. Hopefully, after this radio, it'll surpass. Is, is yeah. that is that your Instagram too? Be more nephew. Yeah, my Instagram be more nephew eighty six. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Well, Everything be more nephew. Okay. I I feel like anything worth doing is worth you know worth putting time into. So I, I like freestyles, but uh, you know it's good that you wrote it down and went and redid yeah. it. So I, I, like this, I can't wait to get into this track right here. It's called <laughs> Styling by my man Styling. nephew. Yeah. S4 GP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, keep it locked to Beat Flow Radio. We'll be right back. All yeah, ready. Yeah. You uh, got on a little bit about the Boys and Girls Club. Yeah. You didn't tell us what you did there. Let me try know, to pick you know, up the, the whole organization of Boys Jeez and Girls Club. Louise. Go ahead, get on the mic. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Try to hide behind <laughs> the camera. Try to hide. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, come on. So, okay. So the Boys and Girls Club of Metropolitan Baltimore focuses on working with the children that need them the most to help them to realize their full potential as caring, productive, and responsible citizens. 
So they work with these children in the zone own school areas with IEPs and help to develop them into young men and young women through various enrichment programs, um, ranging from um, diplomas to degrees, which is a mentoring program, to writing workshops, musical drama workshops, uh, triple play, diff I mean, the, pro the core programs are just amazing and basically it's just to help to round, make the children round, round, well, well rounded. So no welfare supporters more conscious of the way we raise our daughters, right? Already. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I'm all about that, yo. I'm all about that. And um, when I get the opportunity, I let the kids know, like, look, man, if you you was born in another country and your parents weren't rich, you probably wouldn't have no education. So take advantage of the advantage, free uh, education in America. Um, you know, school ain't for everybody, but everybody needs an education. So uh, read a book. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, they have uh, great um, reading uh, programs. Like over the summer, we do a Read to Succeed summer fun camp, and we basically challenge each child so they can, uh, by the end of the six to eight week program, their reading level has increased at least to two levels up from where they were when they left. And they had me up there teaching my own class. Yes. Guess what my class is called? <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, you might as well say karaoke class. <laughs> okay, <laughs> karaoke class. class. Man, you was you was free to come up there and. Do it was what you beautiful. To be. It was very beautiful watching them with him. Did, did y'all ain't get to play no guitar here oh, in that class? Man, we, man, they did everything we did beyond. Video. We did the video. <laughs> For real, man, you can check the video out. It's called "Mama I Made It," starring the Boys and Girls Club of. Webster Kendrick Boys and Girls Club. Already had a field day. He right? had more fun, I think, than the kids. <laughs> he actually taught, he was teaching a um, uh, writing development class. So they actually wrote, like, songs together. And the children performed it for their um, going away, going into summer um, school. Yeah. The children actually performed it. And they, they really killed it. I mean, they had verses yeah. for days. And it was, like, going in. And it was great. They <laughs> killed it in the middle of my dime <laughs> year. <laughs> yes. They really that's enjoyed that's themselves. That's and, you know, that's I'm glad that he was there to, to uh, help encourage them and pull <laughs> with, th with that talent that was hidden inside of them out. Because a lot of them were doing things. We were like... They can do that. We know that y'all sing. We didn't know that y'all rap. Yeah. We know that y'all can dance and, and flip that way. But like, he pulled it out of them. He did. And then it was like uh, it was like a connection with him anyway because and you orchestrated that. Uh, yeah, like, you, you a lot of the, a lot of the things them kids was going through is like I've been through it. Right. So it was like yo, it's cool. You know, I got you. It's cool. I know mm -hmm. exactly that's, what you're going through. That's some that's some grown man. Sh you reach out to you know kids that ain't your mm -hmm. responsibility. You gotta take care of them because you know you don't want you don't want uh, a kid to end up. In, in the office, like George Bush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's my main, it's my favorite YouTube uh, topic, George Bush. But dang, <laughs> you hear me? That's why we tell them it's the beginning of a new chapter, and they make sure they check that out on Dead Piff, YouTube, Instagram, you know, <laughs> Twitter. Yo, I really do need my Twitter followers up. Check that out, man. Well, beginning of a new chapter. We're gonna, man. we're definitely gonna work on that. D Flow Radio. Next song is called No Excuses. Um, shout out to my homeboy Shooty, singing ass Shooty. That man is always on his grind. You can catch him at any 7-Eleven, any gas station, 24/7. He'll pop up at your show. He'll show up on the basketball court, snatch the mic and rap. I'm a damn and rap and sing. I meant, see you, Shooty. What's up, man? Yeah. It's your boy Few, man. No excuses. Um, a little bit of background of that track. Man, uh, you know he was. I actually met him at a 7-Eleven. He was on his. <laughs> <laughs> he was on his grind, I was on my grind. Well, um, you know, we, we just came together and made a track called No Excuses, which is we ain't making no excuses about this grind. Like, there's no reason why you need to still be laying in bed early in the morning. It's time for bird land to stand up. Yeah, stop, I mean, no excuses, exactly. I ain't making no excuses. <laughs> I'm with that. I'm with that. Uh, you got to stay true to yourself. You Already. know what I'm saying? No excuses. Uh, we're going to uh, play this track. We're going to get into this. Uh, check it out. Uh, indulge yourself into it because right. my man nephew is the truth over here. You're gonna love it, man. All no right. excuses, man. Stop no making excuses. excuses, man. Get your ass up. Deep Flow Radio, keep it locked. Grind it, move it, shine it, excuses. Grind it, move it, shine it, excuses. Yeah, yeah, Deep Flow Radio, it's your boy Freak. And your boy Phew. Whitney. You heard me. Hey yo, that man shooting, he sounds like one of those uh one of those old school uh, hey, yo, he old school yo, I swear to god, yo, he remind me of uh he remind me of the whole group, Casey and Jojo. <laughs> he remind, you gotta you, got, you gotta see my man live, yo. <laughs> yo. 
But yeah, man, no excuses. I, I'm I'm feeling that. Um, I definitely can't wait to get home to check it out. Check it out, man. Truly indulge myself in it. Is trying to tell you a little, man. And it, it, I don't I don't make songs to just be making them and throw them on a, a, a mixtape. Don't make, you hate that? I make I make whole projects. Like you can pay my music. To, you can pay my whole mixtape or whole whatever you want to call it to anybody. I make whole projects. Like it's a storyline behind everything to where it's you know from here to here, start to finish. So beginning of a new chapter was a great fit for me, you right? Feel me, because it's like it was telling the story in chapters. Yo, I got I got heat for dudes that just uh, you know want to make music. Oh, I got a hot beat and a nice hook. Let me uh, you know spit some garbage on, on it. it. Nah, come on, yo. I, I've heard some hot beats wasted these past five years. Yo, a lot of them. It's getting really ridiculous. You know, people say, oh, hip-hop is dead, hip-hop is dead. Yeah, hip-hop is really dead, yo. They, we're listening to hip-hop now. Right. You know, they ain't got no... Hey, yo, they, yo and Cats on there ain't really want beef on the mic no more. Like, yo, I don't know, what happened to what's beef? Man, uh, Cats don't really want to beef no more on the mic. Everybody want to be lovey-dovey. <laughs> I mean, yo, you not always going to wake up and feel happy. Right, I'm with it. Man, I'm, I'm with the dudes that wake up and be on the wrong side of the bed, man. Just yeah. say, what, say what you feel, say what's in your heart, man. Yeah. Like, straight up. As long as it just stays yeah, in just, the music. Yeah, as long as it just stays in the music. Like me, I'm, I'm, I'm about... I want, I, want check out, I want to check out dude's skills and versatility, for real. I ain't talking about beef to where you... Right, right. You gonna be by her over something I said on a on a on a on a album? <laughs> oh, the buzzer. Yeah, the we got people oh, out. Oh, okay, we got okay. people trying to get in the Shout studio. People trying to get Deep in the studio. Deep Flow Radio. Deep Flow Radio. The place to be right oh, now. Man, man, they trying to see up up here and see your boy Fu. <laughs> My man, nephew over here. Yo, we got people trying to get in the door. What's going on, man? What do you um? What do you? Where you see yourself in about uh, five years? What do you want to do? What's the next big thing? You oh man, boys and girls club. Oh uh, man, the next big thing you having is having a kid. The next big thing is no, we we gonna keep that up. This too, you know I mean? right, gonna keep right. that up. Sorry, baby. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Put you on the spot. Shout out to my boo boos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, the next big thing for me, the next big thing for me is um. Uh, basically, um, I'm, I'm more of a the meet and greet support, support the city. Like, you can't do it on your own. Might as well come together. You never know what we can do together. Right. Feel me? Like everybody else support each other. <laughs> that, I, I feel like people not supporting each other is the only reason why we got this many guys from Baltimore on right now. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of talent around here. Yeah, it definitely is. And um, you know, like, like, hold up, hold up. What's the definition of on in Baltimore? Because nobody's on to me. No, no, I'm not. I know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I know. Then again, hold on, hold on, hold on. Test me. I love what Test me doing. I love what Lowe's doing. Okay. I love. I can't take nothing from him because before I even picked up a mic or even knew how to write 16 or even two bars, like they, th those were the guys. Right. Those were the guys. So yeah, like, yeah. Test my me. top three, my top three, hands down, it'll always still be Scott, Bar, Lowe's, and Test. My man. Unless you can change. So I, I want somebody to change it right now because, you know, it's the new generation. I want somebody to change that in Baltimore. So big ups and shout outs to everybody that's on that grind. Stay on that grind. Stay humble and get your money. Let's get it. Yeah, I'm with it. You know, I feel like we all come together. You know, uh, people actually start to see the uh, talent that oh, we, yeah, we yeah, got yeah. brewing around here. I, I know some dudes that can spit, some white boys that can spit. spit yeah. I, you know, I know all kinds of people that, you know, they get it in on a, get it on the night. We just got to get these people some kind if, of work. If people could bring their camps together, right? You can still rep your camp, but if you can come together and like play a role, it'd be much better with it. Master P had like 30, 40 yeah, people on his label. What? <laughs> Man, and they, everybody played their role. Everybody yeah. played their role. We gonna get that together, man. We yeah. we gotta get people on around here, cause I mean, what we gonna do with all this talent? Right. We deep flow can only hold so much. True, true. You know true. what I'm saying? I can only play so many tracks on this <laughs> radio station. I try and do club music on Fridays. You know, any regular radio shows any other days. I'd love to have you come through, man. Right. Uh, nephew, nephew say he gonna co-host for us. Most oh, that's what's up. Co-host, man. You gonna uh, dress up in that suit I see you wearing? Oh man, uh, Emma. Yo, check what me out on Instagram. I need some more followers on Instagram. Highlight I'm, me at be more nephew eighty six on the IG. You know I love the IG. You look and look fly and grow man in those pictures. What? 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 And I wasn't going to court. That's coming from emotion, and, and, and I wasn't going to court. 
So you in it, you know? I was looking real, real spitty. It's your, uh, getting another new chapter, man. It's your boy, Nephew, man. Yeah. Mixtape one of the hottest, I'm on fire Why the kid ain't signed, this money is about dollar Keep banging them in their heads with hits I am a problem, no solution, I love music Can't prove it, we're ahead of this game I took time to change, these cats body in my name They want fame yeah. <laughs> I just want to live like that I keep, yeah. it, I keep it small, keep it small, sit for real Right, you gotta check the rest out yeah, you gotta check on the project and I'm Shout out to my man Venom, I swear to God Yo, if you listen to his, you listen to the shit it took me back to Brown Sugar when the when the question was was when you know you fell in love with hip hop. Oh yeah, <laughs> God, damn. Yeah. That's deep. That's deep. That man. was deep. That. No Real talk. If you check, we'll link up soon. Though. Tell them the name of the mixtape. Picasso's Canvas. The viewing available on datpip.com right now. I'm four songs deep, uh, short from completing the second one, Picasso's Canvas. And your boy and nephew pieces. backing it, straight up. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 why aren't y'all going to sing together? Oh, no, no, we're going to sing together. That's why we did. Yeah, that's why we did. That's going to happen very, very soon. Yeah. So I might as well say it right now. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. It's going to happen. Right. It's going to happen. Right. Exclusive right here on Deep Flow Radio. Time for Bone Motor to get noticed, man. Make sure you check out beginning of a new chapter on that piff, man. Yeah. And uh, if, 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 if you want to no. check it out, man, you can type in beginning of a new chapter, you know, that piff, or you can just check in beginning of a new chapter, be more nephew. All my joints should pop up. Yeah. All my mixtapes. All right, so we've had a great time, nephew. You got the kids talking to you. You got Freak. You got me. I got you got Venom. Yeah. I mean, this is crazy. Man, I look, yo, you, don't, you don't know how much love I show artists. Yeah, and the you, building, you got so much love too. Every time you have a show, I'm surprised it's I ain't like, got no followers yet off the, uh, the promotion I did when I got the, uh, the mixtape. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he does a show and it's like a hundred people come in with him to the show. Like, they come just for him. Yeah. Always. It's crazy. He definitely has a following. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to play his last song. Well, not the last song on the project, but his last song for today called Story, Story of, of My, my life. life. Yeah. And you have to pick up the project on that piff and Twitter at Be More Nephew, Instagram at Be More Nephew 86. Yes, yes. Any yes. last words, Neff? Oh, uh, man, again, shout out to Boss Life and T. They got a hell of things coming up. You know, the hookah lounge, the hair salon, they opening up. Me as us clicking up as, you know, me being an artist, them being the clothing line, me pushing them, they pushing me. Um, in the cut bubble shop, shout out to my man Tuck, my homeboy Tay Tay. Keep grinding, keep getting it in up there on Hoffa Road, 4600 Hoffa Road if you know, you know, want to go get a cut. Shout out to the twins, man. Shout out to uh, uh, Lost Boys, you already know Latrol, what's up? 300. E e EXT, what's up, man? You already know Carolina Miami, and just. Shout out to everybody on that grind. Stay on your grind, man. I got much love for you. Support the whole Baltimore. All right, that's what's up. So we got Nephew, S4GP, Story of My Life, right here. Nephew on DeepFlowRadio.com. My story ain't never changed. They trying to give me the business. Homies, they telling lies. When all my beef come up missing, ain't worried about what you claiming. Back in the day was different. High school kid, he was with it. Didn't know his completed missions. Always took time to listen. When catches running and ripping. Love passion. And this before I even started rapping.